Stylistically, this particular site's closest relatives are that in the Nanaimo region to the west of Sprout Lake. They're at a place called Petroglyph Park where the sea wolves have the same internal undulating structure. And there's one other site on Great Central Lake which has a tail feature much like the trailing figure at this particular site. With regard to the site on the cliff at Sprout Lake, I think it's a really unusual site even in BC, which has a number of styles and very unusual rock art sites. It's unusual because I believe it's a single vision in that unlike a lot of other rock art sites which look like they've had input from a lot of different people with different artistic abilities over time, this particular site looks like it was carved by someone with a singular vision and the same person did it. I also think that this particular site, which is located on a cliff called the House of Raven, has definite mythological background to it. It involves the hunt for the lightning snake. And Franz Boas in 1891 suggested that one of the figures, the one by the crack in the rock, is that of a manned canoe with the prow missing. And it suggests that like some modern art where you are the viewer of the site is part of the picture. He is the interpreter of it. I believe that this particular site was also meant to be seen from the water in a canoe at a time of high water, which would place it in the late fall, winter, or spring. And I also suggest that it was probably part of a winter ceremony when the days of darkness are slowly giving way to the days of light. The days of darkness, of course, are the time of the spirits. The days of the light are the time of humans. The site suggests to me the winter ceremonies because it's similar to other sites on the coast, one of which is a large rock on the Skeena River. And a fellow who studied it for many years believed that that particular design, which was a mass of faces and strange creatures, was meant to be viewed by firelight because it would seem like the creatures move. And at Sprout Lake, one time only, we were there in the winter, the water level was high, the wind came up, and as the water rippled past the cliff face, the creatures, which were below the high water mark, also looked like they were swimming, and I think that's what the artist intended. <laughs>